I always had ambition to have my own business, um, but not until a later stage of my career. It was when I'd finished being head producer for Marco Pierre White that I thought I could do it for myself. Um, and that once that was in my brain, that was it. I was going to do everything I could to achieve it. To overcome the barriers of starting the business, it, it's mainly determination, motivation, a, a willingness to succeed in every way. There is absolutely, you cannot do it if you have 1% in your brain that it might not work. We make cutting edge, really unusual combinations in our chocolates, which inspire people. It makes them ask questions. For example, a Marmite truffle. You know, are using a particular whiskey, for example, or a particular um, spice, something that they haven't usually seen in chocolate, and they ask a question and their eyes light up because they weren't expecting it. We really break ground on that. So far, with the Academy of Chocolate, we've won 20 to 22 awards for Best New Chocolate Shop for my Camden Passage shop, 2007, and then other awards, gold, silver and bronze for our filled chocolates, truffles. Um, you strive to be the best, but winning all the awards is fantastic, but it's the customers that come in that say, your chocolates are great, we're buying them again. That's really what sets it in stone for us. And when judges taste them and their eyes light up, and you know, that, that, that reminds them how good chocolate can be. I've never had trouble being inspired or being creative, and a lot of them just come from knowing food, from loving food, from eating out, from reading about food. Quite often, it's when you don't expect it. You'll be lying in bed or you'll be having a drink or you're walk, walking down the street or in your supermarket and you see a new ingredient or you see something that will work together. Because I'm thinking about it all the time, I never get short of ideas. It's always there. Once you get inspired, once you see that customers are inspired, it kind of, it just keeps coming. It's probably like an artist. Once the paint hits the canvas, something starts at the beginning and it keeps growing. Too many people are in jobs they don't like, or they're doing things they don't like. There is no reason why you can't stop, restart, and achieve your ambitions. It's scary, start, but starting a business is scary, but it will make you a stronger person. And then you can say you've achieved it. Some people, having a child is a most pioneering experience. Um, to some people it's business, to some people it's travelling around the world. To some people it's experiencing the best food, the best whiskey they've ever had. You know, it, it's different for everybody. If you have that drive in you, you will take the leap. Whether it works or doesn't, if your business fails, that's not failure. You've tried, you've given it a go. If you don't ever try, you will always regret it. I promise everyone that.